Uh, hi, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Mary oh McDonnell is here. She's with <laughs> us. She plays an L.A. police captain on Major Crimes, which started as a spinoff of The Closer and is now in its fifth season. So here's Mary as Captain Raider getting grief from the deputy chief played by Cameron Mannheim. Hugely successful. Hi, uh, Sharon. Mm. Deputy Local Chief Winnie Davis is here. Now? I'm watching an important interview. Tell her I'll be out in a second. I can't wait. If you could please join me. If I'm seeing multiple people, she thinks I expected more from you, Captain. Did you not hear about the young woman that we found strangled to death? You could have kicked that case up to Hollywood. And violate LAPD policy. Why? Because when our most overly resourced division blows off training, it sends a message across the rank and file. Overly resourced. Conflict. Yeah. We like it. Yeah. We like conflict. Yeah. You know, it is so unique for the closer to finish, mm -hmm. do a finale, and then right away, start this yeah and most of the cast comes with you yes yeah. that's incredible it was extraordinary and it still it still continues to be extraordinary because it's grown it's morphed into its it becomes own its own form. animal yes yeah. oh, absolutely but what was the pressure in well, the that pressure moment? was unbelievable yeah. because you know I was a bit of a um, what do you call we called her Darth Raider yes. on the closer <laughs> yeah. right yes. And so then we had to, and James Duff and the writing staff, they were brilliant at this, is sort of transition her organically mm. into a, a protagonist mm -hmm. right. as opposed to an antagonist. Right. And that was a very tricky thing, but we had such a marvelous cast. And then Graham Patrick Martin came along and became the, you know, from The Closer, and he became her son figure and eventually she adopted him which really opened up who this woman is you know what happens because we're all simple-minded so people do comparisons right yeah. yes you know, compare. right. did you read all those things or did no. you stay away oh no i stayed away because i worked so uh, closely and so well with kira we had such a good fun relationship which also grew during the closer and my thought was it's not going to help me play Sharon Raider to think about what they're saying about the right. two shows mm -hmm. the only thing that helps playing Sharon Raider is to try to get this squad that hates me to like me yeah yeah no that makes sense yeah. when you speak of pressure there's also pressure in the sense of retaining that fan base oh yeah you know because you want to make that transition uh, as seamless as right. possible yeah what was really helpful is that they loved Sharon Rader as a foil mm -hmm. so the idea that they could be there as part of this transition and watch her transit into another character became very interactive with them. They're really, really smart, okay. our fans. All right, They're let's great. go back a bit. Okay. Now we have a piece uh -oh. of tape. We do have a piece of tape now. now take okay. a look at this, okay? Right. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Hello, Barbara. I couldn't call you back until now. I'm sorry. Raymond's in the other room. He just passed out. Oh my gosh. No, no. no. We're all right. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you did this to me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What what okay. and what is it? All right. This was my first job on camera and I was playing um, a woman on As the World Turns mm -hmm. and my set was a piece of wall and a phone. And so every time I came on, I stood in front of that wall with a phone. Sometimes I'd have on a bathrobe and sometimes I'd have on clothes. But I was taking care of the illegitimate child of the lead actress there. Mm -hmm. And I was having trouble at home because my husband was abusive and I was trying to get her to bring the take the child back. Oh, but, and, but you couldn't wow. move to your left or your right. I couldn't move to my left or my right because you'd be out of the set. That's yeah, God. So me. it yeah. all had to be here and it was all had to be Larger here. Larger question for wow. you. <laughs> you had a tremendously well-respected career as a stage actor. Yes, With the Long you. Wharf Theater for 20 years or whatever. Well, you know, that's not actually correct. What I, is correct? I worked there, but I wasn't there that long. All right, yeah. so I read it was wrong. And no, you're, it's not your fault. No, Wikipedia. we tried to get that changed, <laughs> yeah. it's followed. So you were with the Long Wharf Theater for I 30 was. years. <laughs> Brown, the okay. best. Go with Absolutely. it. Uh, but but it seems like when I look back on it, well, you made a decision at some point. Uh, I got to do this other medium. I have to do television. I have to do movies. Is that is that accurate? It, I, I don't think it was quite that conscious, but I did know that I wanted to make money 
mm -hmm. and I wanted to raise my children in an environment where I wasn't gone always at night. Right. Mm -hmm. So to me, it was more natural to be able to be at a set during the day mostly. Of course, there were all night shoots for right. sure. And then be home in the evening. It, it just had a little bit more of a process that I understood as a mother. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So I kind of leaned into that, and fortunately, it worked. It really worked. Wow. Yeah. You did dances uh, with wolves, and yeah. people were saying, who's, who, who's that actress? Right? Oh, you know, who, here who we is go. She? You're Dance bringing back my now, you're, by the way, This is wonderful. You did do dances with wolves, didn't you? I did. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's, that's her. Yeah. I actually did. What was your yes. character's name? Stands with fists. She's been threatening me all morning with this. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? It's kind of, uh, it's kind of a wonderful thing. Um, she was so independent, and she had such a an interesting story. But the idea of of those that world and the struggle in that world is so relevant mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. I mean, truly, obviously, right? We know that. Uh, well, we of course have to mention Battlestar Galactica. Oh, we do. Of course. Yeah, we, have to. we do. It would, be President her, it would be hurt if we didn't mention it. Well, you know, it was mentioned the other day by Whoopi Goldberg on The View. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. She there said you go. I was her favorite president. Yeah. Oh, All the rest were sweet. men. Right. Uh, you were my favorite first lady. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Thank you. Independence Day. Short lived, yeah. though. Yeah, well, that's the way it goes. She, she went down pretty fast yeah. in that uh -huh. helicopter. But yeah. But she was a good first lady. Nobody, nobody did it better than you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, major crowds. So, so what's next? So a senator? I don't know. Oh, I don't what know. Yeah. Mm, maybe. Uh, you return uh, on a new night, Wednesday tonight, 9 yes. o'clock. Yes. Everybody, please watch. On TNT. Very pleasure, excited. Pleasure to see so you nice again, see as you. always. By the way. Thank you. We were dancing a little bit. We were. To the Blasters. Uh-huh. Yeah. We were dancing to the you Blasters. You've got good moves. It's, okay. uh, you know, so does he. He used to be a water ballerina, so that's oh, where it's, oh see? Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. We all know everything. Yeah, we know everything. Can I just say how much I love Cameron Manheim? Yeah. We all love Cameron Manheim. I can't oh, wait to see her. Okay. okay. Blasters coming up. Thank you.